In this video you will learn why I think that a sync pipe inside Angular is broken and how we can fix that. Inside Angular we are using streams from RxJS a lot to render our data inside template. And it is not the best approach to resolve our streams through subscribe, this is why we are using a sync pipe. This is a possibility of Angular to simply use a pipe and render directly our property inside the template. For example, as you can see here, I have app component JS, and here inside I have just a single property, current page with dollar, because this is a stream. And here we are using off method from RxJS to simply transform one into a stream. It doesn't really matter from where we are getting a value. It can be an HTTP request, it can be behavior subject, it can be off, it doesn't matter. The point is that here we are creating observable of number. And typically if you are using a sync pipe, you will just render it inside template like current page with dollar a sync. And this is extremely powerful because you don't have any subscribes or unsubscribes inside your component. And as you can see inside browser, we simply see one on the screen and we don't care that it was unobservable. So this is how we typically use it. But now let's try to throw this observable inside child component. As you can see here, I have a component which is called child component and inside I have an input, current page, and this is number and by default it is zero. Now I want to render this component inside our app component. So here we have our child, we are closing our child and we want to render here a property current page. And typically what we want to give inside is not an observable but just a value. This is why we are writing current page async and this is the most typical code that you will find in all Angular applications. But now let's look in the console and here we are getting a super strange error. We are getting here type number or null is not assignable to type number. What does it mean? Here as you can see inside our app component we for sure have a value inside current page which is observable number. And when a sync pipe opens this observable number we are getting number. This is why it is super confusing because inside our HTML here we for sure get a number. We are providing number inside our current page here inside child. And inside child we also have a number and now we are getting null. And at this moment you will for sure think okay this is super strange. And then you start digging and googling this problem and you see such issue. And as you can see here is an issue that initial empty value for a sync pipe must be undefined rather than null. So from this issue we can understand that by default we have inside the sync pipe some value and it is here probably null and not undefined. But actually both variants are not really nice for us because in our case here we can't really get undefined or null, here inside stream we have directly a value. I could understand undefined by default because obviously this is a stream and it can be fulfilled later but for sure not now and here inside the console we are getting now. The main problem is that in previous versions of Angular we didn't have such problems and the same code worked out of the box, we didn't get any errors. But now we are getting this strange error and the question is why we are getting it? As you can see here is the typings of a sync pipe and here is the transform. And here we are getting a lot of things, we are getting here observable t, and t is exactly what we are providing inside our observable, or it can be subscribable, promise, and also null or undefined. And this is completely strange, because I would say, okay, it can be undefined by default, but not null. Which actually means every single time when you are using a sync pipe, you will get the error if you are providing it inside child component because by default it will be also null or undefined. Which actually means here we are getting an error, type null is not assignable to type number. We are not getting here undefined error, just because inside our child component we are defaulting to zero. This is why we are getting just a null problem. Now the question is how we will fix this problem, and a lot of people are fixing it in not correct way. So here we could write, okay this is number, or null, or undefine it, just because we want to get rid of the async pipe problem. And as you can see here we don't have any problem and TypeScript is not screaming anymore. This is exactly what we are getting from async pipe, but this code is really bad. 
because now in site child component we must check every single time if we have current page or it is null or it is undefined, this is not comfortable. So it is much better to write it in another way. So this code was totally fine, here we have a number with default to zero. Now we can jump inside our app component HTML and change this code, which actually means we are not updating our observable, we are updating our async pipe. And the main problem is here that we are providing a value from a sync pipe inside our child component. What we can do here, we can just create ng container. And now we can just write here ng if condition and render our child component only when we have our current page. So here we can write current page async as current page. And if you don't know this as notation, it will create a local property current page for this specific block, which actually means here we can provide now current page inside our child component. And in this case, we won't get any errors because we are getting rid of undefined or null through this ngif, and here we simply give a correct current page. And as you can see, we don't have any errors now inside the console, and this code will work just fine. But actually now you for sure want to say, okay, but I have like 10 or 20 streams inside my component, it is not comfortable to wrap every single component where I need several elements within G containers. And you are totally right, this is why we have a better approach, we can simply use combine latest here. Let's say that we have several streams, for example, we have a stream foo, and this is of two, we have also stream bar of three, and now we want to combine them. And typically what I recommend to do is combine them as a data property. So here we have our data and we can just use here combine latest from RxJS and inside we are providing array of streams that we want to combine. And here we will have current page, actually this current page, the second stream will be foo with dollar and the last one will be bar. But here is what we are getting back, we are getting an observable of the array and this is not super comfortable to use. This is why what we can use here, we can map this array to the object. So here we know we are getting our current page, then we are getting here foo and we are getting bar. And here we want to return inside our map an object and inside object we are getting our current page comma foo comma bar. As you can see now inside our data we have an observable of the object with current page foo and bar. And the main idea is that you just create for the whole component a single stream. And in this stream you are combining all your streams that you need for this component. Which actually means it can be HTTP streams, RxJS streams, maybe behavior subjects, this is all totally fine. Now we can jump inside our component and instead of this code we just wrap the whole component with this ng container. But here we are not writing current page async, we are writing here data dollar async as data, and now we have the whole component with the whole markup inside this ng container. And now we have all properties from the data just like local properties. So here instead of current page I can just write data.currentPage. After this I can simply render data.foo if I need it. Let's check if it's working. As you can see in browser we are rendering one and then two. So what is one? This is this child component which renders current page inside. This is one and now two is our data foo that we simply rendered here. As you can see we didn't get any errors from the TypeScript and this is the best possible approach to manage async pipes inside your application. And actually if you're interested to know how to avoid memory leaks inside Angular application by using unsubscribe, make sure to check this video also.